welcome. We continue to feature inspiring women this International Women's Day. We're in conversation with Rubal Nagi of the Rubal Nagi Art Foundation. Rubal, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Pleasure is all mine. It's wonderful to see the work that you're doing here with Rubal Nagi's Misal uh, Initiative. Uh, that's part of the Art Foundation and this is the Delhi, uh, the Delhi chapter that we're looking at here in Chanakyapuri. But before we dive into it, first tell us a little bit about the overall aim, what you're trying to do with the Art Foundation. The main aim of Foundation is quality education okay. and employment for youth and women, empowering women in the real sense. When I say real sense means making them financially independent because you know that is the most important thing that our girls, our women in slums and villages need, even our youth needs it. So that is the part of Rubal Nagi uh, Art Foundation. Where you are right now is uh, Swami Vivekananda camp in Chanakyapuri, New Delhi. Misal New Delhi is uh, part of extension of Misal India. Okay. We started from Mumbai because I live in Mumbai uh, and we launched Misal Mumbai in 2018 which happened in the continuation of Paint Dharavi from 2016 and soon within less than a year I must say it's not even like nine ten months that we expanded to 16 states in India because you know when somebody saw the concept that how transformation can be done through art so beautifully and you are empowering and creating that impact on ground you know is something which people had not you know kind of seen so that is when we uh, changed the name from Misal Mumbai to Misal India. We want to tell people why they need to keep their areas clean, why it is important for uh, children to have quality education. And then we also tell them about hygiene, sanitation, waste management, uh, reduce the use of plastic. So we want to address uh, area specific issues. Like my Rajasthan center is more on uh, stitching and embroidery and you know tassel making. Here the center that we are going to put up will have more of, they make beautiful beautiful rugs, mm. they make uh, beautiful uh, cushion covers. Kashmir, we are looking at agro, you know, because saffron, apple, there's so much you can do from them. And also Kashmiri embroidery. So every center that we put up after we start uh, the beautification is uh, something that the place needs. Like in this slum, I've got widows. I've got uh, women who've been thrown out by their uh, husbands and they are working with us. We had 25 children to start with. Today we have 140 children. They have fragile mind. You can't keep them ki, okay, you know, this is what we want you to do. We want to do things that they like, but also something that will keep them in school, that will make them realize that parna kyu zaruri hai bagair shiksha ke, there is no life. You know, it is very important to be educated. You know, you have to connect to people. End of the day, you're here for them. Ruval, thank you so much. It is heartening to see women like yourself putting in that kind of time and effort to really follow what you feel needs to be done in transforming India, uh, educating youngsters, women, and really leading to something that will have a more meaningful impact uh, in our country. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Happy International Women's Day. To you too. Thank you so much. <laughs>